Hi, my name is Keith Childers. I'm a surgical tech here at University Medical Center of Princeton, Plainsboro. And what I'm going to do for you today is help everybody get a little bit more uh, adjusted to draping the Zeiss microscope, or the Pentero microscope. When you take the drape out of the package, you're going to lay it on your back table. Configure it as such where, if you can see the instructions, where when you face the instructions, you can read them. The drape also comes with rubber bands that I've put around my wrist, and they'll come into play later. Find the eyepiece on the drape and fold the excess back, presenting it like such. Now, in a sterile environment, you're going to do your best to keep your hands cupped. So you're going to present like this to the lens of the microscope. This is configured for a craniotomy with an assistant the eyepiece. I'm going to approach the microscope from the front where the monitor is directly in front of me. With the nurse's help, I'm going to fasten the eyepiece securely. And while supporting the drape with both hands, I'm going to spread it out. Now, the challenging part here is making sure that the excess plastic, which is going to end up around the eyepieces, doesn't fall towards the floor too close. It's a challenge, but it can be done. Much like a Mayo stand cover or a C-arm drape cover, cup your hands underneath the cuffs of the plastic and bring it around the top of the scope, pulling it all the way down and having the nurse help you. With your other hand supporting the plastic that falls down, you're going to advance the plastic down the rest of the way. It's at this point you're going to make sure that the extra plastic is not hanging too far down. You want to make sure you secure that at all times. Now what I found for a good microscope drape is to secure your eyepieces first. This is the working end. There are people who have a philosophy of securing it from this end and working this way, but that never works. So you're going to secure your eyepieces. You can rotate the eye cut and take it off. This is protected. You won't contaminate your blood. Rotate your eyepieces until you find the appropriate ones. This is a little more challenging with the craniotomy assistant. When you've found your eyepieces, reach back and secure the eye cup and the lens cover. Keeping as much plastic on this end of the microscope as you possibly can. This takes a little bit of time. It's a little more challenging with the, with the craniotomy assistant. Just takes patience. It's going to be very frustrating at first for somebody who's never done it. And even for people who have draped it a lot, it's still quite challenging. This is the time where you can adjust the arm pieces by activating the green buttons in the back, straightening yourself out. So now we've got three eye pieces secured. And it's this point we're going to go ahead and we're going to secure our handles. You want to grab as much of the plastic here as you can, be very generous on the hand pieces, and then take your blue rubber bands that came in the package, either one or two, double loop them, and go straight up the hand piece. This may seem tight at first, but we'll adjust it in a moment. Feel free to rotate the microscope. You don't have to keep it in one configuration. You can move it around. Second hand piece, remember, generous on the plastic. Something like such in this configuration here. Double or single, I like doubles. Now, as the nurse has helped you pull it down to this end, it's gonna come back up just a little bit. With the third eye piece in place, it can be a little bit challenging. Remember, patience is the key. Now we're going to move on to the green straps. These green little plastic straps are here to help you. They are your friends. You're only going to put these on loosely at first. And when you secure them, 
you're going to have to loosen and tighten these a few times. So when you loose, when you tighten them the first time, make sure you always secure it tape to tape and not tape to plastic. If you put tape to plastic, it will rip when you attempt to remove it later. These, keeping your head back, and your hands are going to be tight. Here's your second loop. And these are all preliminary sets. I don't have anything set yet. I'm not going to activate the bike vacuum system. I'm still going to adjust this until I see it where it's tight and secure. With this third one, this third tape here, I'm very gently remove it. I'm sorry. And I'm going to put it beyond this point where it says drape on the arm. Place that on top, securing that, and bringing this part up. So now it's starting to take a little bit of shape. So now here we are, initial configuration, but not yet ready to vacuum. At this point, I'm going to check my rotational, which is good, and check my what I call north-south and rotational. That's all very good. So we're still at a very good point. So now for the green, the final green tightening, I'm going to adjust this, I'm going to peel this off. Place this up here. Square that one. And this one, I'm going to walk around to the other side. Now it's at this time I'm going to ask the nurse, Allison, to activate the vacuum option on the drape and you'll hear it come on. Now if you notice, you'll see it start to collapse. It's at this point that I'll just start assisting it and pushing the air out of the drape. What you want to achieve optimally is a nice shrink-wrapped final appearance that's not going to hang down to the surgeon's face. You want to keep this area here, you can mold it Feel free to mold it wherever you want. And it's at this time, you can adjust the green tapes to make them tighter. It gives the vacuum an extra seal. I'll do that to the rear one too. And as you can see here, it's starting to collapse nicely. And it's starting to take on a very nice shrink-wrapped approach. What I've always tried to do, and this is for the craniotomy approach, but for a spine approach, I've always tried to keep it where this area here is almost cut out. That way, if your surgeons are talking to each other, they don't have to look around, and they minimize their movement under the scope. It's at this point now that it's almost finished vacuuming. It's got a really nice shrink-wrapped appearance. The surgeon's really going to like it. I'll go around, and I'll just push out any extra, any extra air to complete that nice it's almost as if it's covered with Ioban, not quite. You do one last rotational. And there you go. So in review, the most important thing is to drape the microscope from the head to the tail. Be patient with the eyepieces and always keep in mind that you can undo the lens cover if you have to rotate the drape at the bottom to either make more room for the hand pieces or to set your eye pieces. So set the eye pieces first. Don't forget to, to, adjust the, to adjust the eye cap if needed. And this can be rotated while it's on the lens. And remember, always when you're securing the tapes, it's tape to tape, not tape to plastic. And one other thing for people who are, may not be as tall as others, getting in over this can be a challenge for some. So down here, I've had someone give me a step stool. A step stool always helps, and it's it, it, it's um, it can be invaluable in helping people get it, get it, get it over the hump. Any questions? You can contact me through the hospital.